So Michael, you may be saying, this isn't a game that you had going on right now. Why are you adding more shit to your stream schedule? And uh, the answer is, I just wanted to play it. Uh, it came up in conversation today on Twitter, and uh, I have not streamed this, and I've been meaning to. So I figured, what better time than now? I'll play a couple hours of this, do a couple hours of uh, Manster Hunter, uh, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. So if you were here the first couple seconds, you saw I actually logged in with a different account. That's because there's only three save files here, and the game is already taking up all three on my main. Uh, not that it really matters that much, uh, but yeah, uh, if you didn't know, uh, this is a remake of an old Sega Master System Game Gear and PC Engine game uh, in the Monster World series. Uh, it was made by, this was this remake was done by uh, Dot Emu and uh, developed by Lizard Cube. They did an amazing job with it. It looks really nice. So I'm like... And I, I love... This was one of the first Switch games that came out. So I was like really, really happy with it. Because I was waiting for this before the Switch was even announced. Uh, so I'm looking forward to giving this a stream through. This is a short game. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, let me just do a sound check here. Make sure everything sounds okay. Okay, cool. Sounds great. Uh, so... They added in, uh, you're able to play as a boy or a girl here. I'm gonna play as the girl, just cause. I've only played as the girl once. Uh, so. You got easy for younger casual players. Monsters are easy to beat. Extra life potions, normal. Hard, monsters are hard to beat and you have a limited amount of time. And if you hold down X for about five seconds, you get extreme, which is, uh, not recommended. I am not playing on extreme. Uh, I have a file for extreme on my main, uh, profile. And, uh, I can't beat it. Because it's hard mode, but with no health upgrades. So I I got, like, a little over halfway through, and then I'm just like, this is near impossible. I can't do this. But we will do hard mode. Classic adventurer. He traded his skateboard for a sword and shield. He has been roaming Monsterland, searching for the Mecha Dragon. Impeccable haircut. She came for a piece of the action, and she means business. She has also been roaming Monsterland, and also has an impeccable haircut. No difference between the two. Something I forgot to... Oh, uh, whatever. Before you is the Monster Land. Overcoming various hardships, you have at last entered the Monster's Castle. Your target is the dreaded Dragon's Room. But unbeknownst to you is the fact that the Dragon has the power to cast curses upon his enemies. So yeah, the last dungeon. We're already at the end of the game. Um, no. The way it works is that, um... This game was actually... The original version of it was Wonder Boy 3. And this was actually a follow-up to Wonder Boy 2, which was a more... It kind of ran off the timing system that hard mode's going to run off of. Like, you lost health over time. Also had a very interesting screen layout, if I'm not mistaken. Like, where it would, uh... It would, like, kind of have, like, windows everywhere. And the main gameplay window was kind of small. Essentially, the end of the game was you coming to this dungeon and defeating the dragon, which is how this game starts. Start out fully decked out, you're ready to kill this dragon, and it's good fun. So as you can see, uh, when I take damage, my heart doesn't really go down, because you're not really meant to lose here, and also because you're super powerful. Uh, how do you... There we go, X is the menu. As you can see, I already got the legendary sword, stuff legends are made of. Legendary shield, some fool lost this one in the labyrinth, and armor. It's called legendary for a reason. 255 attack, 255 defense. I'm ready to kill shit. So if I'm not mistaken, this is all kind of like a labyrinthy maze. And yeah, when time... If you look at the uh, top left, you can see a little hourglass. Uh, when that hits... When that fully empties, uh, I take a hit. That's how hard mode and extreme mode work. So yes, this is a, a kind of a maze-like uh, dungeon. You get sent back to the beginning. Also, look at this animation when you turn around. It is uh, very nice. Not a lot of frames, but it's all lovingly hand-drawn. So up, up in the left and right, you could see... Or up on the right, you could see uh, my sub-weapons. I don't have any right now. Uh, you can see how many life potions I have, which is always one at the beginning. And how much money I have, which is currently... El Zilcho. Um, if there's any other moves I could do. So yeah, they call the female character Hugh Girl. 
because uh, it's human if you pick the male character, and that's how it was in the old games, too. Uh, so what? Jump, crouch. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing, um... Nothing that you haven't seen already here. However, if you press uh, ZL and ZR, you do this. Switch it back to the old-school graphics. Oh, it's just ZR. And if you click in the right stick... It plays the, uh, retro music. So you can kind of combo combine both and just have the old game here completely. Or you can mix and match. I'm gonna keep it modern, because that th this game's beautiful, and I... As much as I appreciate having the old school options there, it's- it just- This just feels a lot better to play. It just feels better of an experience for everyone involved. Mecha Dragon. So here's the first, aka final boss. Anyway, this game is very interesting, uh, iframes. When you get hurt, if you're still flashing, you just get bounced around while you're getting hurt. It essentially allows you to not get comboed, but at the same time, uh, it can waste time. Like that. Like, see? Just bouncing constantly. Anyway, it has been a few years since I last played this, so bear with me if I'm not doing too well. I haven't played since the Extreme Update came out. And you can see the uh, boss's health bar in the top middle there. Dead. Anyway, money shows up. This little ghost thing appears. Don't worry about that. We'll just leave it as is for now. Kinda wish I didn't destroy this thing all the way over to the right. And, oh no, how could this happen to me? Uh, so I lost all my health except for one, and also now I'm a dragon. And I can't go back in there. So yeah, that's what we were warned about. This is the curse we were warned about, and now I only have one heart, so I have to play it very carefully going out here. Overall, mobility is exactly the same. It's just, um, my health is a lot lower, and now I only have this fire attack. Which might not seem too bad, but, uh... Actually, my, my attack and defense are still really high, because I have the legendary stuff. Ow. So it's like a what-if story, because, like, I believe Wonder Boy 2 just ends with you killing the Mecha Dragon, and that's it. And then this- this happens. Also, there's a skeleton with the hat. Nice. Leaving with a nice amount of money. And now... Proceed with your adventurous undertaking. Anyway, we're back at the village now. Which, uh, totally was here the whole time. Uh, when you're not in a, uh, an action area, there's no timer. So you don't have to worry about dying. Anyway, this is what extreme mode is. It's one heart and the timer. And that's it for the entire game. Thankfully, that is not, uh, the case in hard mode. Normal mode does not have the timer. Easy mode has easier enemies and more life potions. So right away we go here. And get another heart. 
In extreme mode, that is just straight up empty. There is nothing there at all. Anyway, yeah, this game has a lot of uh, invisible doors. Or temporary doors. So yeah, old school graphics, old school music. Uh, there are a couple extra effects too, which is kind of neat. So if you go into retros, uh, advanced settings, you could add in these scan lines to kind of give it uh, that old school feeling. It doesn't really look like a, it doesn't look that great. I never use those, they look kind of dumb. Uh, that said, you can also put in the retro blur and kind of add some scan lines. And, and then you got something that kind of looks like how it looked on the TV. Of course, it only affects re uh, retro mode. That's the same sound effect they use in uh, Sonic 2 on the Game Gear. And I always think of that whenever I shoot the uh, fireball with the old school sound effects on. Speaking of, uh, in addition to the old school music, you can also enable the... FM sound unit, which is an interesting, like, I don't know how that worked exactly, but it was like an extra piece of hardware that you can uh, add to the master system, or it was like an upgrade, and it would add like an extra few sound channels to it. So it actually has both the 8-bit the soundtrack as well as the 8-bit FM soundtrack. Does not have the uh, Game Gear or, uh, well, I guess the Game Gear is the same soundtrack. Doesn't have the PC Engine soundtrack, though. That version was actually localized by uh, Hudson instead of Sega because it wasn't a Sega system. Also, there's a neat little trick here. I don't know why they added this, but I did check with the devs at one point, and this is intentional. If you keep mashing the button, it actually slows down until it eventually stops. And then you can kind of play it with like half retro, half, half regular. A lot of people don't know about that trick. Yeah, even the sound effects sound different. Uh, also, with the old school graphics, uh, did I enable that? Hold on. Yeah, retro inventory. So originally, when the game launched, it didn't actually have this retro inventory. It had um, it had the regular uh, normal inventory laid over it. Don't know why, but thankfully they fixed that. Uh, so uh, as Lizard Man. All of them are just n animal dash man. Um, same stuff, just fire instead of sword. And he's a lot weaker, or they're a lot weaker. Uh, I get the, the animal forms don't really have genders because it's man regardless of what gender you pick at the beginning. Uh, okay. All of our equipment is gone now too. We're left with this ivory equipment. Don't know why. The game does not explain why you lose the legendary equipment. It's just gone. Cheap ivory sword. Probably illegal. Basic shield. Rustic design. Basic armor, second hand. So I have six defense and three attack now. Um, the weapons, all all the equipment act differently depending on your form. So, spoiler, I mean, if you couldn't tell, there's more than one form. Uh, what else? So I have one fireball. So these, you press A to launch these items. Uh, and it's one use per, except the boomerang, which could come back. Wow, with a face like yours, I'd be looking for an antidote right now. So, this is just kind of a little, like, flavor thing. If you hit, uh, if you hold on X, you get a password. I've been handing out these co these ancestral codes for decades now. Write them down carefully. So those codes can actually be used in the original versions of the game that didn't save. In fact, if you have a code from the original version of the game, when you're picking your file at the beginning, you could hold, you could press X when choosing your gender to get the screen... And then you could enter a code and actually resume from where the uh, game left off. This game is essentially the old game with, like, a few kind of enhancements. But, like, oh, otherwise it's exactly the same with a new coat of paint. And that's really cool. If you actually do this, you get... If you look at the old school one, you see the... Uh, you just see the password right away. And also he says something different depending on your form, which is really neat. Uh, don't know if there's anywhere else I can go at the moment. Also, this game, for, for an early Switch game, it has really nice uh, HD rumble. Like, when you step on this, there's like a tiny little one. When you get hit, there's a nice little shiver. I'm gonna keep hitting that instead of the uh, left and right. You look funny. The first shot is on me. 
Uh, we'll be keeping that for later. That is just a like a health refill place. Because your health does not refill often. Um, automatically. Best sword you can afford. Makes a nice cling sound. Reduces damage. Looks flamboyant. So I have 44. I could buy two of the three pieces right now. Um... So we'll buy the sword and the shield. Best sword you can afford. Alright, it automatically equips whatever you buy. Alright, so it's the same thing he says. But yeah, now I got 12 uh, attack, 15 defense. Not, not terrible. Not great. But that's why it's a curse. Uh, I don't have the key to get in there. Let me just look over here real quick. Sorry, just got to look at something real fast here. Okay. Let me just uh, take a sip of my water real quick. I should probably start drinking a lot of this now since I'm going to get my uh, my arm stabby tomorrow. And apparently drinking a ton of water helps mitigate side effects. I will blast through both of these containers before the end of tonight. Anyway, we're bricks. We'll worry about those later. Guess I can breathe fire underwater. It makes sense. Leave that door just sends you back. So here we are at the beach. Very fun place. Good good starting area. Also, if you shoot at another piece of fire, uh, it, it negates the first one. So you want to wait for the first one to uh, fully dissipate or hit an enemy. When I was unemployed, I had found... When this game first came out, I actually found a secret in it. And, uh... I remember, like... I can't remember which which website it was. Some website was, like, trying to find... People to write about video games and stuff. And I, I've tried to write, like, an article about the code and send it to them. And it ended up being... Terrible. And I never heard back from them. Which is fine. I think the last thing I'd ever want to be nowadays is a gaming journalist. Ow. Okay, well. So yeah, doors take you wherever they want to. They, uh, you really have no control over it. Arrow, that'll actually help out in a second. here. Shit. Well, never mind. That enemy uh, is a bit of a pain to hit, and also he drops a lot of money, so it's worth uh, killing him if you can. Uh, houses, you know, they're, they're not too detailed. Cosplay as a goblin. No questions asked. Master shield. Furry edges. An acquired taste. See, that gives me zero defense for lizard man, despite how expensive it is. Um, that's pretty good. I don't know if I necessarily need that, though. Also, um, something funny to, to note. I bought, I, when I, I played this game when it first came out, they changed that description. Originally, that said cross dress as a goblin, no questions asked. And I think that was kind of a mix-up, because the studio that made this is French. 
So I'm not. I think maybe they mistranslated the uh, the text that they were gonna put there when they wrote it in English, and they had changed that later. Cause uh, obviously, or maybe they just meant it as like cross dress as a different species. But either way, they changed it to cosplay in a uh, in a future update. Again, I've played through this game three times, three and a half times since it came out. So the most important thing is that we got the key, and thankfully if we die, we can just warp back to the beginning. We don't have to worry about uh, making it alive. Though I did just get another life potion, so I don't want to waste those. When you hit zero health, uh, I keep doing it. Oh, every time. Every time. When you hit zero health, you automatically use a health potion to refill your stuff up to max, so... If you have more than one, you kind of don't want to waste them. I'm about to right now. Yeah, I'm about to die. Oh, and you can die from the hard mode timer. That is not a, uh, there's no immunity from that. And dead. Again, normal mode, it's not too different at this point. You just have no timer damage. So, if you're getting hit a lot, you're still gonna die. And yeah, you don't want that to happen. Uh... Ooh, a sack, good. A sack, I think, means more than 25. Oh. There we go. So Big Heart, I believe, is two or three? I don't think it's a full heal. Uh, but Small Hearts are one. But yeah, this is my first... This was actually the first Wonder Boy game, and only one I've played so far, a Monster World game. stuff here. So you can see there's some goodies over there, too. Uh, don't believe you go over there for now. But yeah, you can see how much you're If you look at the money count when I grab a piece of money, uh, it'll actually tell me how much I'm getting. Like, that was plus four. Ow. How come they can shoot through walls? Ow. I believe if you die, you lose all of your sub-weapons, your items, and such. Which is unfortunate. Ow. Boomerang. I I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep doing that. Boomerang's a nice item, because you throw it, and then you get it back. Arrow shoots straight up. Tornado is a thing that goes forward and bounces off walls. Fireball kind of swirls. Lightning, I believe, just hits everyone on screen. It's a really good move. Yep, there you go. Doesn't always- doesn't kill immediately, though. You get the money from that, but it wasn't a lot anyway, so... Really doesn't matter. There is a way to grind for money easily later. Uh, oh, I can actually get the goblin armor. I might as well do that while I'm here. Usually when I play through this game, my goal is to get every weapon and armor. 
by the end of it. Goblin mail. To each his or her own. Sorry, I meant to each his or her own. Plus three. So yeah, this is a pretty good up a pretty good upgrade. It's better than the other one in town. As for that Master Shield, uh, we're not going to be able to afford that anytime soon. Plus, it's useless for Lizard Man anyway. We don't want it. There we go. A pow, and I just got another arrow. Just offset all my losses for that. That crab is like the magic crab right there. He's dropping health potions every time. This is going to be devastating when I die, because I have so much, uh, stocked up right now. Oh, yeah, ooh, uh, uh alright, well, back here. Sometimes they die in, like, more, less hits. It, it's really interesting. I think there's, like, a variable in how much damage you're doing to them. Thirty-seven. Anyway, this is technically a Metroidvania. Uh, it's definitely a lot less exploration than some of the other other games out there, but it's, uh, it's, it's got its moments. And again, the game just looks gorgeous. Dot Emu and, uh, Lizard Cube really, really put in the work on this game. And this is kind of what pushed them, like, into, like, the modern gaming sphere, honestly. Like, a lot of their modern projects now are kind of being done because of how well this went over. got blocks here that look like they could be broken, but apparently they cannot. I think you can't go over there yet. I think you, uh, if you fall as far left as possible, you still aren't going to make it in there. Yeah, at various points you'll find doors that just warp you to other places. No real uh, questions asked there. So anyway, I got a key. I can open that door now. Check out the washing instructions. Check out the washing instructions. Ugh. So yeah, we want to keep the goblin mail on. Better. Uh, if you see any that say defense plus special, that means that it does something else. Nothing I have right now is going to be like that, though. I don't want to waste my free shot yet. Don't believe the door's there. Look at all that meat hanging there. Uh, so yeah, those blocks are interesting. You'll see why in another dungeon or so. So there's no bottomless pits. If I fall, I just go back to where I was before. I'm, like, literally above the town now. The desert. So this is not the right way to go, I believe. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, these frogs kind of F you up. Yeah, you could tell they're, they're taking way too much punishment to take out. Especially for what they... Eight coins, that's not worth it. 
But yeah, uh, I know for a fact you're not supposed to go this way first. That's that's a later area. Okay, potion down. Thankfully, with how fast this guy's shooting, if I'm, like, flashing, he's not gonna hit me. Let's just despawn him real quick. So areas don't change, it's just, uh, your access to areas do. Like, obviously, you're gonna have better access later. I'm about to take damage. I think it's every 30 seconds or so I take damage, or every minute I take damage. Ow. Oh, that's weird. That flame was, like, still on screen before. Worth noting, I think this is the only form that could duck. This and human are, like, the only two that can actually duck. Or actually, no, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Ow. These enemies get a fair bit annoying later. There's an area with a lot of them that gets very, very difficult to take out. I actually think there's a lot I missed there, because those antlions, uh, if you duck underneath where they are, there's like an extra area. I don't know if you can go down there now, though. So, love this. The, the lighting here actually, like, shadows you as you're walking past it. I always thought that was really cool. Ow. Anyway, this guy's a pain. He's bad news. But he drops money. Hard upgrade. Also, if you notice, this room looks a little weird. The blocks are, uh, stone instead of, uh, like the metal of the other ones. That's, that's important to remember for later. Yeah, this is a good farming spot for early game. Th these dudes drop a money, a money bag every time, but they also almost always hit you every time you get out of there, too. So yeah, if you know, jumping's a little weird in this game, like, I, it's fine there, but when you're walking up against a wall, it kind of, like, it, it feels like you're kind of clinging to it a bit. Oh, God. So, using a potion apparently removes your iframes immediately. Okay, uh... Oh. I don't think I've ever looked at this area in the old school style. How many do you need to go down there? Ah. Uh... I'm, I'm about to die for real Z's. Game is very generous right there. 
and there. The biggest downside to dying is that you get taken back to the village every time. So you have to make your way back to wherever it is you uh, died. And obviously, and also the uh, the sub-weapon loss, but it's not that big of a deal. You never need the sub-weapons to proceed. Well, aside from getting down here, obviously. But like, any key items you have and stuff like that, that's all, that all, that's all permanent. You don't have to worry about that at all. Same with money, too. You hold all your money every time you die, which is good, because the only temporary thing you could get from uh, money is healing. Everything else is, like, permanent items, essentially. Yeah, like, here, you can see this is all painted. The other room had actual blocks. Nice. That's a really good up uh, treasure. 15 fireballs. I should probably be used more than those. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Wow. I stroked out hard reading that. Um, also, time does not run down here, so let me take a sip of water. <sighs> I don't know if I'd consider doing an extreme mode run of this game. It is just so hard. Getting through... Uh, the second to last castle is just impossible. And it's a struggle to even get it's it's a struggle to even get that far too. Also, if you want to get back to the village quickly without dying, you could just save and quit. because uh, you'll always start there. As a result, the world isn't too big. Like, you can never really wander too far off from the village. To the point where you'd have to, like, backtrack, like, an hour to get to where you need to be. But it's still a pretty decently sized, uh, adventure. I believe this game was nigh $20 when it came out? I think it still is, actually. Okay, so yeah, this room, you got gold enemies, which are clearly bad news, and uh, you got bricks you can't break, so I guess that'll be for another time. Note to self, that doesn't move slowly. Unfortunately, this game's old-school sensibilities stay a little too old-school at points. But it's, uh, it's not bad. It's manageable. That said, there is a spiritual successor to this game, made by the person who made this game, and the team, I guess, uh, and some of the team that worked on it, called uh, Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom which is also on Switch. Uh, I've never played it, and I've been thinking about playing that at some time. Uh, maybe after this and Tribal Hunter are both done? 
I don't know what May's gonna be like for gaming right now, aside from new Pokemon Snap. Tribal Hunter's not gonna last long. And maybe Monster Hunter. Tribal Hunter, Monster Hunter, Monster Boy, Monster World. It's like there's so many... All these games have like the same words in them. Okay, that's just a shortcut back. We want to go down this one. I believe touching those heads damages you. You don't want to do that. These enemies rarely, if ever, drop anything because they infinitely spawn. I don't know if I need to use that now, actually. Wait a minute. Or is that just a key? Okay, yeah, that's just a key. I thought that was a heart. It's really weird. Like, they put the, key, the door right there, and then the key is right next to it. <laughs> yes, I have bandages. We have a lot of mummies here. Oh, this you have to pay for, though. Uh, you know what? Why not? So, so getting a full refill uh, not only refills you f fully, but it also restarts the timer. So you get back up to, like, what is it, like, 60 seconds or however long it is. The Pyramid Hall. So this, so this song is really good. Um, before I do anything, let me show off the old school version. So the interesting thing is that this game only has one dungeon theme. And in the old school one, it sounds the same every time. It sounds just like this 8-bit song, which is really nice. It is a good song. But in the in this version, they it's still the same song every time, but they like redo it every single time to match the theme of the dungeon, which is really, really cool. Anyway, so, we haven't really seen much in terms of the dungeons in this game yet. This is, the, I mean, this is only the second one, or I guess first one, technically, since the last one was the last one. The, the dungeons in this game aren't really, so I gotta actually adjust how I'm sitting here real quick. Ugh. The dungeons in this game, and this game in general, aren't very puzzly or exploration-based. Um, obviously there's an open world, but for the most part, this game is just corridors with, uh corridors with enemies in it. That's that's pretty much how the entire game boils down. It's not bad by any means. It's, it is a well-put-together game, but there are points where it doesn't uh, exactly feel very varied in how it is. He only dropped a small, uh, thing. Ow. And yeah, you occasionally get rooms like this, which are just... wackiness. Actually, getting any sort of health refill re uh, stops the timer. I just noticed that. I probably knew that before. Ah. 
Ow. Nice. Yeah, the jump. Oh no, uh, the jumping in this game's a again a little a little weird. that yeah anyway that's uh why I didn't want to go over there right yet just yet if you notice that enemy just fell right through the floor I wanted to go over here first into the hidden room and there we go ow anyway we're at the end of the first dungeon already Mummy dragon! That looks kind of like a pig. But it is a dragon. Anyway, he spits poison goo at you. And he's a mummy! And yeah, also, same thing for the boss fights in this game. The boss themes, everyone has a different variation of it, but it's the same theme in the original version. I love the design of the, the bosses in this game. Even the old school ones look really nice. Ow. More go around should be good. Eh. Anyway, same thing, same exact thing happens now. You get the ghost. If I get hit by it, the money stops flowing. So you kind of want to keep, play keep away for as long as you can. Thankfully, you don't lose health like you do the first time. Also, you get kicked out of the dungeon automatically, which is really nice. They did, they, uh, I mean, there was really no way out otherwise. Anyway, uh, the Mouse Man. Uh, he has an ability that's unique to him. Uh, he's pretty weak, but, but he's also small. He can't duck. If you press down or towards the direction of the blocks, of these checkered blocks, uh, you'll notice they kind of get a little bigger, and while they're like that, he can stick to them and rock, which is really cool, very useful. As you can imagine, though, uh, his reach is very, very short. Press direction of checker wall to cling to it, yep. Also, I better check my equipment. Because now that I have a new character, the uh, attack stats are going to be different. 72 is still good. 23 and 32. 12, 3, 24. Okay, so this is still decent. As you get more equipment later, uh, it, va it varies a lot more. There's equipment that's good for some forms that just completely don't work with others. Actually, I don't know why I'm just not clinging to the wall to begin with here. 
Yeah, in fact, I needed to do that up there. Wow, what am I doing? I like that the bar moves over a bit, too, once you get another digit in the money. Dancing shield, a nice fit for rodents. Perfect. Acrobats of all sizes love it. 65. Alright, we're good. Return. is a very silly game. Um, anyway, yeah, you notice these blocks are here now, and, I, and uh, I can stand on them. Crystal sword, crystal shield, crystal armor. Crafted out of fashionable, fashionable red tourmaline. Crafted out of fancy red jasper. Crafted out of elegant tangerine quartz. They're all pretty good, but they're all also very, very expensive. Close to the close to the most expensive items in the game. I don't think there's anything else I could do here right now. But I, I could go up here. Fit for feathered creatures. Captures hearts and thoughts. So, this is the first of the special ones. If you see, it's plus 56 defense, plus special. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the um, description is supposed to imply that uh, enemies drop more health refills with it. Which is pretty good. It's definitely useful. Um, not as useful as the money grinding one. The money grinding one, what it does is it just increases the amount enemies drop. So it's the same it's the same frequency, just more items. And also that affects chests too. So you could like find a good chest with a bunch of money in it and just get more from it. Hello, little one. Have you seen that ugly lizard lately? It actually says multiple things for each form. I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Or maybe they changed it. Who knows? Anyway, we're off this way. These can be killed. It isn't really worth it. Oh, that's that. We'll do it later. Oh, wait. He, uh, he has a shield. That's right, uh, so human had this too, or you girl, but, uh, some of the other forms do as well. The shield, if you just stand still, the item, the, and the pits will just smack him. These can be killed. Yeah, they can. Secrets everywhere. Ow. Hmm. 
Reliable, made in Japan. Reliable, made in Japan. Reliable, made in Japan. Shogun Blade, Shield, and Lamellar. I could buy all three of those. You have a discriminating eye. Yeah, this game does not let you chill if, uh, if you don't pause it. Pause it. Oh, this actually isn't as good as the Dancing Shield. That's better. Alright, 95 attack, 100 defense. Again, 255 is the highest for both stats. With the legendary equipment. It really doesn't make a whole lot of difference. It might make the difference between, like, one or two slashes at times. Or it might make the difference between taking a whole heart of damage and taking half a heart. Maybe you can't kill this. I think you need a, a sub-weapon to do it. There you go. I killed one. And got nothing for it. The other nice thing about the boomerangs, uh, that they can hit enemies and still come back, uh, to you afterwards. It's not a one-time use, unless it, it, dot, you miss it completely. Really never used it all that often, and I really should. But it's also, uh, comparatively weak to what my, uh, current equipment. That is some good- that's good foley right there. That cl that clatter when he- when he moves around. Two objects? Yes, you can. Nice. Oh, I lost one, but that was worth it. I got a heart. I got a heart from it. slippery. When you jump on something, he kind of goes flying. Nice. Another potion. I can't remember how many potions you're allowed to have. I think it's either three or nine. Then again, I don't think I've ever gotten enough in a row without losing, without using them. Close to the end now. This one has a floating head. Floating, not talking. Okay, got the key. Ah. Yeah, the other 
kind of issue with the game, it's very easy to get in a situation where you're entering a map and just taking a hit with no way to stop it. Sold out. Oh, yep, you can only hold three. This is where you buy them. And I got a health upgrade. Nice. I believe this is just the exit. Yep. So yeah, imagine extreme mode, only having one heart to deal with, and then having only three potions max. Also, I could show this off uh, after I finish the dungeon, but there is a way to get in there to fight that ogre for some reason. Here's the second castle. The tower. where you have to start playing a little smarter. I say as I get hit twice immediately. Okay, yeah, there's ogre ghosts here. That is a full refill. These do drop stuff because they have uh, green hats, so they're upgraded. This game's short, so they upgrade pretty quickly, enemies. Like, they'll upgrade from one dungeon to the next. Oh god, I'm getting kind of effed here. I dropped nothing, too. Wow. guys, uh, take some punishment. Ow. I 
Wow, I almost... I'm almost dead already. I got hit by them once. And I almost died a second time. I want to change this for a second, because there's a song that plays when you drop down here. Yep, it plays. I don't know what the point of that song is. I think it's supposed to be a reference to something that happens in the previous game. Because I think the song is from the previous game. But I just wanted to see if it was there in the original uh, version as well. And it is. Oh no, I'm down to one potion already. spawned outside the hall, the hallway, and it just fell to the wall. Getting a little worried I might not be able to beat this. I think I fucked around a little too much and I and now I'm finding out. heart at any point there. Oh no, I'm down to no health. No refills left. Gotta play this carefully. Dragon Zombie. Heart of damage. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Okay, that does nothing. Okay, you gonna stop? I'm in a loop here. All right, I think we're good. We're good. Two hits. One more. Oh, wait, no. Wait, I only did four that time. That's weird. That did more than four, though. That did more than eight. I mean, no, I actually did exactly eight. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, fuck. I was hoping to get a little more money than that. Anyway, hi, I'm a fish now.
So Fish Man, uh, or Piranha Man, sorry, that's the name of him. Uh, he has all the same stuff as the Mouse Man, except he could swim instead of uh, clean the walls. Also, he's bigger. Nice. Anyway, for some reason, there's a door here that leads into here. So you can kill this thing. No real explanation for that. It's just there. Stop. How much are these? 291. That's, that's a weird price for it. Restore health. I am not going to buy that. Anyway, hi, I'm a fish now. Um, where to go from here? Go to see someone of my height again lately. This place has been a circus lately. Oh, said lately twice. Go to see someone of my height again. This place has been a circus lately. Maybe it doesn't say new stuff. Maybe that's only after you beat the game. Anyway, you'll notice something. Uh, once I change, I can't change back. Uh, you'll notice, like, there's there's no way for me to switch what form I am. Yet. That will change, uh, fairly soon. So yeah, double tapping that, and now I can, uh, I can swim. There's also a weird glitch, because when you, when you turn in the water while you're swimming, it counts as kicking. So if you, um... I don't think they've ever fixed this, but if you do this rapidly... Wait. Yeah, you can just float straight up. Oh, maybe it doesn't work anymore. Wait, there we go. Oh, maybe it can actually, uh... No, I think they fixed it. Alright. So originally, if you did that there... You could float straight up out of the water and keep floating. And uh, you'd be able to get into like a little hidden area over there. Uh, also, I'm over here now. In another part of the village. I can get the, the shield now. That other one. In fact, look, I'm in the area for it. Perfect. Oh, Aqua Shield. Perfect for looking good underwater. Piranha Man, 30, 85 defense. Doesn't rust when it rains. Oh, I should actually see what's the strongest for him. Still the Shogun Blade. Them, excuse me. Uh... 75, 85, yep. 24, 35, okay. So we're as good as we're gonna get right now. Swimming makes the controller rumble just a tiny bit. It's really good. Really good. go to the lava area next, the volcano, but I can't remember if I need anything to get over there before I do. I also believe these chests all restock upon uh, reloading the game. I don't know if that includes game overing or just Shutting the game off and restarting.
Oh, I don't have it. I don't have enough now. Furry edges and acquired taste. I believe that's good for a different form. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Turn to title. Turn that back. Uh, yeah, it saves automatically. Also, wait, let me show uh, this real quick. So, yeah. You can resume an old game using a password from the 1989 version. You can also obtain new passwords in the village. So, yeah, if you have a retro password, you can enter it there and just start the file wherever you left the old game off. Which is pretty neat, despite how s quick this game goes. Anyway, all saving and quitting does is uh, take you back to the village, so it's very quick. Probably very useful in speedruns, I imagine. Now, there is a very specific piece of equipment I need, but I don't know if you find it here or you have to find it later. Like, I don't remember how you find it. You can buy it, but you can also get it all dropped off of an enemy. Okay, these guys are kind of a pain. Thankfully, I'm two forms better than I was before. They throw rocks. Rocks. So yeah, touching that would be a, a very bad idea. I want to try to avoid that if possible. Drop that shit too. Oh, yeah, and unlike uh, Lizard Man, who could destroy projectiles, uh, you cannot do that like this. <gasps> no! We want to be down here. So thankfully, it's not constant, constant, but it is constant enough. <laughs> Phil, we're okay. Oh, what? Come on, man. Yeah, falling in lava, kind of devastating. I don't want that to happen very often. Also, I can't duck in the swarm. Hey, Capit. Yeah, I'm playing this. Okay, so I can't go farther over there yet, because that's just lava. That's okay. Skilly and immune to lava. There we go. 
Dragon mail. So that's... Dragons can be fashioned victims. So I need that, because now that makes me immune to lava. It's actually our first special uh, armor. Oh, nice. A cure. Uh, but I'm also almost full, so I don't need it, because I only have the potions. This might burn a little. Yeah, this is a really good game. Really? Anyway, it is possible to get that armor off of an enemy, but 300's not too bad to be spending on it. Plus, it's required to beat the game. No, 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 what are you doing? Never mind. Full health. Nice. There is something hidden up there. Can't reach it yet. Anyway, this uh, introduces a new little interesting mechanic to the game. Think. Wait a minute. Okay, so there's mouse blocks there, but I can't go over there yet. So if I go in here... It's an altar that lets me change between the forms I have. By the way, no sounds at all in the retro version. It's just a quiet room with weird blocks that you could jump through. I love the design of this. And you also get a sneak peek at the other two forms, the lion and the hawk. There's also a small little cheat you could do in that room, uh, but you can't do it until you've uh, you've fully beaten the game. I also can't remember how to do it. Anyway, here's our first key item of the game. Uh, the Thunder Ring, which I believe you can't really highlight it, but it lets you destroy these now. So all these bricks are now fair game. The only form you can't destroy them in is Lizard Man, just because Lizard Man does not have a sword. And they drop shit too, which is really nice. Makes it very easy to stock up on stuff. Anyway, I believe this is an exit. There we go. Alright, now. A lot of the world's opened up to us. Not all of it, but a lot. Um, and by a lot, I mean just two areas. Can't destroy those because I can't attack downwards. But, uh, we get a little bonus in this room now. If I smash that open, we get a door. And in this door is another transformation room. So now I could change here whenever I want. Um, unless I'm Lizard Man, in which case I'm kind of fucked. I have to go to the other one. Actually, wait a minute. If I'm Lizard Man, do I actually have to go around? Whatever. I think there's another way to change. Um, that said, I don't think there's anything worth going back to the Mouse Man area for. Um, nor is the Mouse Man ability useful. Actually, no, wait, it is. You're not really supposed to do this, but you can break that open. You're actually supposed to wait till you get the next form to come down here, because you can't go back down there. Um, I forget what you have to actually do here. Oh, actually, no, you're meant to come down here like this, because... There's this going on. Uh, this doesn't lead to the next dungeon. We don't want to be here yet. This is... Enemies are here are too hard. Um, I 
I think they intend for you to come down here with both ca uh, both this and the next form. Though technically, if you have the next form... Actually, I don't know. What am I saying? I'm talking to myself here. There we go. Bop. And then... No. This is a hidden shop. Forged in the 16th century. Muramasa Blade. Mouseman. 118 attack. No charm, no sale. Hey, Gamer Wolf. Uh, I forget what you have to do to unlock this. I think you have to get... um, You have to do something. Oh, uh, you have to be a specific form for it. That's what it was. Oh, I forgot about the door at the far right. Damn it. More, more attack is always good. Though I don't know why I'm doing this, uh, because I'm probably going to be switching back to Piranha Man after this. Pomp. When it hits the ground, it's a pomp noise. Nothing here, it just takes you in a circle. Oh wait, no, there's something over there. Ooh, what is this? A sword. Magical saber, utterly magical, turns stars into rocks. If you do that, bam, you get a rock. And then if you hit it with something else, bam, you break it. I'm pretty sure when I first played this game, I did all this out of order. need that later. But yeah, I can technically go to the left down there. But I don't think I can reach the next dungeon without the next form's ability. There is something very useful down there too, but uh, I also think I need more money to buy it. Give me one second here. There is a charm related uh, stat in this game. Interesting. I don't think I ever noticed it because it's so straightforward. Fish! That is uh, some swing noise right there. Anyway, with that brick uh, brick breaking ability, uh, we can now head to the next area over here.
I'm probably gonna face my first death soon. Oh, there's the area in the in the desert too. I'll go there after this. Those hit hurt you if you touch them, so you don't want to touch them. Er, they make like a, a seal noise despite being octopi. Uh, yeah, why not? Nobody takes care of my wounds. I am my own nurse. that's the entrance to the next dungeon. I don't think I want to go in there just yet. I got, like, stuck... Oh, no, it's because I'm turning. Ow. Nice, exactly why I wanted to come down here. Eight hearts is the max, and I have five now. as good as my stats are going to get here. All right, this is the, the ghost area. I remember when I was doing extreme mode, this was such a pain. Which, by the way, still have not... I mentioned this before, have not finished extreme mode. I'm up to the next dungeon in extreme mode, and I've never been able to uh, finish it. try to cheap shot you on the way out. Ah, no. Ah, ah, hey, stop. 
Yep, I'm about to die. Someone drops a health refill here. Yep, that's it. Wow, my first game over. So when you die, you either get one potion or no potions. And I got lucky. Probably because I went so long without dying. And yeah, I'm right back here now. Ah, fuck. Alright. Let's go to the, um... Oh, where should I go? Oh god, I have no health. Um... They really kind of throw you right back into it, huh? Um... It's not so bad outside. I'm pretty sure it'll do great. Let me go to that treasure room and get the other treasure room that uh that's hidden in it. Just because uh I messed up. Good evening. How are you doing? Ah, no. Closer. Here, that. Actually, there's two things I could do while I'm here. I just remembered the other thing. Ow. Ow. Why did I say? Wait, what? What am I doing? My brain's not working right. Yeah, all that talk on Twitter today of this game made me want to play it. So I was like, you know what? It takes it'll take me one or two streams to beat it. I could enjoy myself for a bit. <laughs> yeah, kinda. But also, I don't. It was just interesting getting a tweet that got a lot of attention over this game. So I was like, you know what? I kind of want to stream it now. I've been meaning to for a while. Plus, if I stream this, then I'm more inclined to stream, uh, Monster Boy later on. Uh. No. Ah. Okay. Butt kicked. Oh, I have no, I have no arrows. Oh, I have nothing left. I forgot. I died. Here. Oh god, why why are you still here? Leave. Desist. Okay, that doesn't help. God, you get so dehydrated if you were if you were a piranha man in this heat. judged by that thing. Oh, you only get to choose one? Yeah. God, look how many there were. One each visit. worth getting them all. Can I just go back? Do it again? Nope. That's weird. You can just exit whenever you want. This game doesn't do a good job of explaining that. 
Coins in one bag is another, and then one chest per magic item type. Ah, I got it. Oh, there we go. It's a good place to stock up. I'm gonna do that. Close. Out. Yeah, it is. It's just items. That's that's pretty cool, though. Thought there was more here. Okay, you need to chill. Um. Okay, I can make an attempt at something very dangerous. Last one is either lightning bolts or hearts and an elixir. You forget. Hmm. No, there's no upgrade there. enough. As long as I'm under here. Stop. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I can't do that now. I can't break through that. Yeah, I don't think I have the ability to get in there. No. kill those things, which is cool. Okay, so what are my options right now? I guess I could go down there and try to get the item. I think Lizard Man is needed to break the cubes with his head. Really? I thought it was um, the next form, because it does this, the circle swing. Wait, Lizard Man can break cubes with his head? I guess that makes, uh, that makes sense. Dang. Alright, never mind. That's not a Lizard Man only ability. Or not a, an ability that Lizard Man can't do, rather. Uh, I'm gonna go for something that might very well help me a lot. Uh, and it also kind of breaks the game. I don't think you're intended to get this now, but you can. redo my whip equipment here. Yeah, I'm being extremely brave. Wanted to ask, did I play Scott Pilgrim yet? Uh, I mean, I played it 
10 years ago, or how many years ago when it came out. Uh, no, I ordered the physical edition from Limited Run, so it hasn't come yet. They're going to ship it out next month, I believe. When it arrives, I will do, uh, I will definitely do a playthrough of it. Probably with one of the DLC characters, just because they're the only two I didn't play with originally. Don't know if I'll do, like, a full 100% playthrough. I might do that on my own. I'll do that, and I'll probably do the DLC stuff, since I never, like, I only ever played the base game for that. Port was your first time playing it. I heard they didn't really fix any of the glitches, but I also heard that the online uh, was fixed when it was, was officially released. Like it was, like the online actually doesn't work too badly. Which is interesting because the game did not have online originally. Okay, this might be a bit more, too much for me to, uh, handle here. Oh, no, yeah, I'm, I'm down a potion. Alright, well, no harm in continuing. Oh, god, that does two health, two hearts. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, no, I could do this now. I forgot about this entirely, so this... These unknown areas are exclusive to this remake. Uh, you have to do them with a specific form. And, uh, they are very, very difficult. I don't think I'm ready to do these right now. Your only hint is that there's like a hole right there. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm done. I can't do what I need to do over here yet. I need the next form first. This is like the only real time that you could like really go off the beaten path in this game and do extra stuff until later. Nothing. The Mouse Man one is the most infuriating of them, too. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I forgot how to deal with these. Actually, wait. No, what am I doing? Uh, if I'm not going to go that way and do the thing, uh, I actually should probably uh, go by... Oh, I don't even know if I have enough to do that. Well, I could check. I could buy the shield if I want to. The furry shield. But I don't think I could afford any of the crystal gear yet. Plop. Nope. Oh, the cheapest one's 3,000. Okay, so it's th about 3,000 for all four. For each of them. Ugh, all four. What am I saying? So it's about 9,000 total to buy all of them. That probably won't be happening yet. Always a pleasure. Please get hurt and come back again soon. Ho oh, ho. Which armor is that makes all the store prices cheaper? Because that's totally the thing to wear when shopping. Um, I don't know. I thought I knew there was one that makes you drop, makes enemies drop more money. I don't know if there's a uh, if the if one of them makes the prices cheaper. Maybe it's the same armor. If it is, I can't find it. Prince armor makes them drop more hearts, right. Oh, I don't have that yet, too. Shoot, completely forgot about that. I should probably take that, honestly. I kind of need it. I am once again a mouse. Knight Shield, Prince Armor. Wait, what's Knight Shield? Oh, for fit for feathered creatures. Alright, well, we'll get that later. Love makes you live longer. That's pretty good, too. 56 defense. Captures hearts and thoughts. Plus special. Something that makes prices cheaper, but you forget. It's been too long. I think it might be the armor that just makes the enemies drop more money. 
I also forget how the charm point system in this game works, because there's certain items that only get available if you have enough charm points. But I also think the next form is the one that, like, just gives you an immense amount just having it on. Yeah, exactly. The Prince Armor is going to help me a lot in this mode. Uh, is it my most powerful uh, defense? Yes, it is. Cool. So that was well worth the money. No, I think they fixed this glitch. It doesn't work anymore. You can't, you can't float up. That's kind of a shame, but also totally understandable. Orc. Heart drops in this game are already not exactly the most common spawn, so... But hard mode's interesting, because hearts are always useful, because even if you're at full health, hearts will restart the, uh, the hourglass. So I have the furry shield at the end of the beach. I have the, uh, the prince ar- or whatever, the armor for the bird. Uh, there's another shop that I haven't gotten stuff from yet. And then there's all that crystal armor. Left is a hospital that somehow exists underwater, which is cool. Eh. Okay, past here is just the heart, which I've already gotten, so there's no reason to go any further. You have the best sword, right? Yes, 108. Oh, I'm gonna keep doing that, huh? Okay. Health, please. Hearts, thank you. Come on. Come on! Ow. There we go. I hate you both. I hate you. I really do. Okay. Oh yeah, I was mentioning that earlier, how uh, the dungeon theme is just the same song, but it's it's remixed every time. It's really well done, just like everything in this game. It's really neat, haha. <laughs> nope. Alright, the shit. Oh, what? What? <sighs> okay. I don't remember this being this hard. Nothing. Well, other than that shield, what else can I get? Other than the two shields I'm missing. Boomerangs. Interesting. 
I don't really think there's anything else I could get right now that'll help me. I'm kind of where I need to be at the moment. Unless I try grinding through that underground passage, which is even harder. Either that or I grind for the, uh... The, the gem equipment. This game's balancing is very interesting. It's more difficult for enemy placement rather than combat. die again on the way to this, um, I think what I might do is I might s switch to Monster Hunter for a bit, grind some money, and then finish this, um, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow yet, just because I, I might be doing auditions tomorrow, and also, uh, Nessie's gonna be over all day. Actually, maybe Nessie could help me get through the auditions, and then I won't have to worry about him. But I might also be exhausted, because that shot's gonna take a lot out of me. I don't- I stopped just a second too soon. drop like a uh, potion. That'd be nice. Really don't want to go all the way to the uh, the mouse man area just to buy them. And they're not cheap either. hearts. Where are they? Hey! That actually doesn't hurt that much. It's more of the, uh... I actually don't want to fight that thing, because it's in between those blocks. Nothing. Okay. Hey, oh, come on. Wracking. Ass. Nope, oh, that's that. Yeah, I, I don't think I have this in me right now. I, I made pretty. I did pretty good for two hours. Also, if I do two streams of this, then it gets its own playlist on my YouTube channel. Aw, uh, that was an insult to injury right there. Alright, so yeah, that's, uh, that's Wonder Boy. Um, let me get healed up before I do anything. Actually, wait a minute, if I quit... Oh, no, it saves your hearts, because it actually says on the menu how many you have, yeah. 
Alright, so what I need to do is I need to get some money. I'm probably gonna grind out maybe all the equipment I'm missing. I don't know yet. We'll see. But uh, I'll return to this at some point soon. This is definitely finishable in one more stream. Um, though I don't know if I'm gonna be streaming tonight or, or tomorrow or Tuesday yet. We'll see. I kind of want to get back to Persona, like, as soon as possible, too. But, uh, this was fun. It was a nice revisit after talking about it all day. Really looking forward to playing, uh, Monster Hunter. Well, yeah, I am looking forward to playing Monster Hunter, but also Monster Boy uh, and the Cursed Kingdom at some point. As well as Tribal Hunter. Honestly, thinking about Tribal Hunter got me thinking about this game, too. So I'm looking forward to, uh, finally giving that a stream. And yes, I'm using a different account just because, uh, my main account has all the files filled already. Alright, let me stop my recording here.